Okay, well that was a bit of a shock. Um, mind blown. Will a Leica camera sensor give you better photos than a non-Leica camera sensor? Stay tuned to let the pixel peeping commence. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. So yes, I was interested to see if photos from a Leica camera are actually any better than a non-Leica camera. Personally, I enjoy operating a Leica camera and I enjoy the final result from a Leica camera. So that's the reason I use them. Maybe you use them for a different reason. But if you're on the fence, maybe tempted to buy a Leica camera because you think there's some magical myth that it's going to suddenly make you a better photographer, that may or may not be true. <laughs> I've done videos on that before. But today I want to particularly look at the colours from the Leica sensor and the details and whether or not you can get a similar look from a, a much cheaper camera. To try to make this a fair test, I wanted to use a non-Leica lens on the Leica camera so that there was no kind of lens talking to camera collaboration which wasn't happening on the non leica camera so to do this i shot some photos with a voigtlander ultron 35mm f2 amazing lens check that video i can link it at the end if you've not already seen that video and the second lens i used as i just happened to have it with me was the brand new seven artisans 28mm f 5.6 video should come on that subscribe if you fancy seeing that video and so I used the m240 versus camera x we'll call it I'll tell you at the end which camera I was using and I shot the same lens on both bodies and then compared the results in Lightroom so in a second we'll dive into Lightroom and first we'll compare the colors and then second we'll compare the details and see how how the two cameras compare using the same lens what's the famous saying spend your money on glass and that's the important bit and the camera just holds the lens that was definitely true in the film days when it comes to digital it's slightly more complicated because the sense is having an effect on the final image so to do this I wanted to shoot both cameras in raw mode and then look at the unprocessed photos in Lightroom to see how they compared let's have a look okay so on the left we have camera x and on the right we have the Leica sensor Leica M240 you can see the photos on the right are more saturated than the photos on the left and much better or more vibrance uh, from my eyes and from the various screens I've looked at uh, sorry for the slightly different cropping and you may want to go through these again a bit slower if you want to pixel peep a bit more but on the right hand side to my eyes it's more saturated and just they pop a bit better if you look now black and white the Leica files definitely seem sharper in some images this one's le less so they're a bit more similar and slightly more contrast and slightly more pop which comes from the, the colors converted to black and white uh, I think the black and white is a more subtle difference, but uh, you, if you look close enough, you'll see a difference. Okay, well, that was a bit of a shock. Um, mind blown. I wasn't expecting quite a difference from Leica cameras. Yes, I call myself Mr. Leica, but if you've seen much of my work, I tend to shoot a lot of black and white, so I've never really looked in great detail or pixel peeped on how the colours compared to other cameras. If you're a JPEG shooter, this is seriously important because if you want to get nice photos straight out of camera, we can clearly see from the results we just looked at that the Leica camera is giving pretty amazing results, even on edited RAW files compared to very flat, boring looking photos from camera X. Much more than I expected, that's a pretty big shock. <laughs> so that just shows how important it looks like it is to have a digital camera that gives you the look that you want. So you may want to check and test various cameras as much as you can before deciding on which brand you're gonna go for, whether it's Sony or Fuji or Leica or Nikon or Canon or whoever. However, this is not the end. After seeing the results and how different they were, I was thinking, hmm, Maybe I can make myself a preset to mimic the Leica camera look and then apply that to the RAW file so that the edited RAW files from both cameras looked exactly the same. So I set to work. Let's take another look at the edited files with my new Camera X preset applied to the Camera X files and the Leica files still as RAW files. Okay, so with the preset applied now to the photos on the left and the RAW files still on the right, you can see you can get them fairly similar. I didn't spend hours and hours trying to match it exactly but I'm pretty happy with the result I got from the, the preset that I made. Um, I'd be happy to share these images side by side in an album for example as if they're from the same camera and the same lens. Okay pretty impressive. As we can now see it is completely possible to fake the Leica look. You don't necessarily need to buy a Leica camera to get 90% of the Leica look. It could be 8%, it could be 90%. It looks like we can clearly mimic the majority of the color look from the Leica camera 
which that means you can also then mimic the black and white from the Leica camera only if you're shooting RAW and then editing in Lightroom afterwards as I do with my own files. If you shoot JPEG, this is a bit of an eye-opener. You may need to start either looking at a different brand if you don't like the brand X, which I'm about to tell you, or get a Leica or edit your files so you can get a decent look from whatever camera you're using. It may sound obvious, I know. I was really surprised at how different the raw files were. Uh, I never expected such a difference. <laughs> So are you interested to know what Camera X is? Please know hate comments. The Camera X that I was using is not a top of the range Sony. It's not a top of the range Fuji. It's not the best, the best Nikon. It's not the latest Canon. I wanted to compare a cheap camera versus an expensive camera to see if I could get the same look from a cheap camera as I can from an expensive Leica. For that reason, I used a Lumix camera, but not the obvious choice, which would be something like the Lumix S5, full frame versus full frame, that would be too easy. And I didn't have that camera with me when I was in Portugal. The camera I actually used was a Lumix Micro Four Thirds camera called a Lumix GX80. Now you're thinking, well, that's just a complete waste of time because what's the point of testing a Micro Four Thirds camera against a full frame camera? The reason I was doing it was not to make a half cut test, was because I wanted to have a small Micro Four Thirds camera as my backup camera. And then if I need to mimic the look of my full frame camera, I can just apply my now new Camera X preset or Lumix G Micro Four Thirds presets to my Micro Four Thirds images and now get a very similar look color wise and black and white wise to the full frame like a camera. So that's the reason I did the test. And so when I'm doing more traveling, as I say, this is all shot in Portugal. I now can carry a super small second camera, meaning I can carry more interesting main cameras. If you don't know, I shoot a lot of film. So by having a smaller backup camera, I can now carry bigger, say, film cameras, maybe Hasselblad, maybe a Mirror Z67 or any other interesting cameras. So that's my reasoning for having a small, cheap backup camera. And that's why I wanted to test it in this video. So to recap, I used the same lens on both bodies. And then I cropped in on the Leica sensor to give a similar-ish look to that from the Micro Four Thirds sensor. And those are the photos that you saw in this video. And with that bombshell, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and feel free to subscribe to see similar geeky tests in future videos. Thanks for watching. And as always, a massive thanks to my patrons. Bye.